that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Hey, come on, come on, yeah. I don't want the pain, uh-uh, cause I don't want pain. Uh, a two-step with me, come on. <laughs> two-step with me, come on. Uh, you would tell as you uh, one, two, three, talk to me. When I come to this game, man, it change your brain. When I come to Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a hair video. Y'all already know, when I come dressed, it's a hair video. Okay, so you're probably wondering like, girl, why are you in black and white? So for today's video, we are going to be testing out if henna dye works or naturally dyes dark black, dark brown hair. So that's that's basically what we're doing. So if you want to see the finished result, then just keep on watching the video. Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's been a minute since I've ever colored my hair. I think the last time I colored my hair was six years ago. So this is going to be new for me. But we're actually using henna dye, which is very safe for naturally curly hair people or women. So I'm just going to teach y'all how to make it. So the brand that I'm using is the Xenia Henna. And this is in Ausonia Intermise. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. So basically this is a more burgundy henna versus like your black or like your brown or red henna. So the instructions are on the back of how you use them. I will go over the instructions as we put this on our hair. So I'm actually mixing my henna with pure beet juice. And basically all I did was puree some fresh beets with a cup of water and then strained it to get the juice from the pulp. So I'm just adding in the henna. It was about 100 grams of henna. And then I'm pouring in two cups of the beet juice. The mixture of the beet juice actually made two cups. So I did a cup of beet juice and then the juice from the, the natural juice from the beets added another cup. However, I did have to go in with a fourth cup of water just to get it the consistency that I needed. So you probably need about two and a fourth cup of any liquid that you decide to use. You can go in with water, but from my research on the internet, it says to use beet juice or like any type of like red liquid, more so beet juice, to get the hair like super red, especially if you have naturally dark brown hair. So after you have mixed your henna, it says to let the henna sit for two to three hours just so that the color can fully develop and everything in the henna is fully activated so that the color can penetrate your hair follicles. So I'm just taking my hair down, nothing, nothing new y'all, just taking it down. My hair is um, not freshly washed, but it's not dirty. Like I haven't applied product in it, if that makes sense. So you're definitely gonna need a towel for this little experiment because this can get real, real messy. So make sure you have a towel on your back and under you because sometimes the henna can fall on the floor. So basically all I'm doing is parting my hair into four sections just so I can see if I have, I'm not trying to waste the henna, I'm not trying to use all the henna on one of one of the sections more than the other because I did read that it said if you had longer hair you need at least 200 to 300 grams of henna and make sure you have gloves when you do this as well because you don't want to get this on your bare hands because it will stain so I'm just sectioning off each section that I have and working slowly just so I can get the henna penetrated in the hair so I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory so I'm not going to I'm not going to talk anymore. So I lied. I'm going to tell y'all what the benefits are of using a henna dye versus like, you know, a regular box dye with peroxide. First, for starters, henna is not a chemical dye, so it's not going to break your hair off. It's not going to dry your hair out. It's actually going to make your hair shiny, soft, and manageable. I did notice that after that I used this henna dye, I had less shedding because lately I have not been doing the rice water method. I just been kind of letting my hair just do its thing. And I've noticed that after using the henna, I had less shedding. Also with using the henna, it helps restore your pH of the scalp to its natural acid and alkaline level. So your hair can strengthen versus break. 
So if you are allergic to box dye, henna is the perfect alternative if you ever want to experiment with coloring your hair. I would say henna acts like a semi-permanent dye versus like a permanent dye. Um, also, you would need to get, make sure you get the 100% henna because there are some henna brands out there that aren't 100% and it may cause damage or an allergic reaction to your hair. So after we have put the henna in and have saturated the hair from root to tip, I'm just cleaning off my ears and around my forehead. And then I'm placing a plastic bag over my hair so that we can lock the heat in. I'm also gonna go in with a shower cap so we can get maximum heat. And I think I left the henna in for four hours. I can't remember because this was like two weeks ago. But I think I say it at the end of the video. So I leave the henna in for four hours. You can leave it in for four to six hours. Just so you can know that the color is fully developed. And I also did have henna left over. I had like a lot of henna left over. So, and I fully saturated my hair. So I think 100 grams would be good if you have hair that's my length. And even though I had gloves on, I did stain my hands too. All right, everyone, so this is the finished result. Um, it didn't really take. Um, you can kind of see it in the sun, but when it comes to seeing it in, you know, in the house, you can't really see it. But it's okay. So I did the beet juice and henna dye method. Some sites do say to use lemon juice to lighten the hair. And all I basically did was I left this in for four hours. I know it says two to three, but I left it in for four. Some people just leave it in for six. And then I washed it out with shampoo and conditioner. And this is the finished result. If you want to see me try other henna methods, leave a comment in the comment box below. I might switch up the henna brands. I'm not sure yet. It may be the henna brand that didn't work for my hair. But on the reviews, it some of these these girls hairs did take my hair is just naturally dark so if you want to if you have any suggestions for different brands also leave that in the comment box below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already if you are new to my channel join the bomb squad because we are the real squad on the internet also don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box below but I look forward to seeing y'all in my next tutorial bye guys I like the way my hair turned out though, y'all. If you want to see a hair tutorial, leave that in the comment box below too. But